Hello everybody. What I have in my hand is an engineer's flat file. Now a file is a cutting tool that can be used on a whole host of different materials. Now if you're filing metals, especially soft metals, then one of the things that can happen is the swarf that's produced by the teeth of the file actually gets stuck in the gaps between the teeth. Now when that happens the pieces of metal will go across the surface that you're filing and reduce the surface finish because it's now gouging out lumps of the surface. The other thing that happens is because you've got these pieces of metal stuck in the in the teeth then your filing efficiency drops off as well. Now if we understand how the teeth get clogged it may help us find a way to unclog them. This is a rasp file. It can be used on wood and soft metals like aluminium and copper. The reason we're looking at this is its teeth are large and well formed. It's a big version of a normal flat file. Here's a side view of the file. Assume this lump is our job that needs to be filed. The file must be moved in this direction so the teeth can cut into the surface of the job. Let's look at just one tooth as it cuts a chip from the job. The chip will grow and quickly fill the gap just here. If that gap is full, the tooth behind it can no longer touch the job. This means that it can no longer cut the job either. Once the tooth reaches the edge of the job, the chip can fall out of the gap. This is why file shavings of small chips are not curly swarf. The file is then brought back on its return stroke. If a chip is jammed in the gap between two teeth, the tooth behind can no longer cut on the next forward stroke. The chip will scuff the surface of the job. It will prevent the file cutting properly and get pushed harder into the gap where it's stuck. Once the file has one stuck chip, others seem to grow quickly forming small lumps of metal across the whole surface of the file. So how do we remove these pieces of metal that are stuck between the teeth of the file? Now either there are several ways of doing this but what I'm going to do is take this file away because it's quite fine. I'm going to come back with the rasp file. Now the actions that I show on this file are exactly the same as they are on the fine file we just had. It's just that you're going to be able to see it a lot easier on this and then later on in the video we'll come close up to a fine file and you'll see exactly what happens uh, to get rid of these lumps of metal. Well there are several methods for removing the lumps of metal from between the teeth of the file. Uh, the first one is with a scriber. Now our pieces of metal are actually pieces of blue tack I've shoved between the, the teeth here but with the scriber you just run along the gap between the teeth and it picks out the lumps of metal just like that. In a similar vein another way of pulling the metal out is with a blade. You run the blade again through the, the gap bring it along, bumps against the metal and it pulls the metal out. Both of these methods work quite well although it can take a long time if you've got a large patch of, uh, of metal that's got to come out from the face of the file. Now there is another way of clearing out the gaps between the teeth and that's with a scraper. Now here's a scraper, this is a piece of three millimetre thick aluminium plate and uh, if I go across the teeth you can see it doesn't, although it scrapes across the top of the teeth, it doesn't get down into the, the grooves between the teeth and that's where we need to get. So how can we make this scraper get down to the bottom of the grooves? Well it's really quite simple. All you have to do is push the, push the scraper on the teeth, push it quite hard, push it backwards and forwards in line with the teeth and the top of the teeth will cut into the surface of this metal. What will happen is this. You have the shape of the file actually cut into the surface of the metal. Now that means that this corrugated surface you see here is a negative image of the file. So when you put it back on the file it's now scraping right down to the bottom of the teeth and it will easily take away our pseudo lump of metal here. No trouble at all. This is the best method I think of doing that. Now this file has pieces of aluminium stuck in the teeth around here. Now it doesn't show up very well at this scale so what I'm going to do is come in closer and then I'll show you how we can get rid of this. Now quite often to clean the file all you're going to need is a wire brush but you need to brush it at the angle of the teeth which is that angle there so you'll be brushing backwards 
and forwards like this. So if I grab the, the wire brush, which I have here, and brush across the file, you see that most of the blockages have now disappeared. We've still got some down here and there's a couple there. So you can see that sometimes it's not enough just to use a wire brush. And that's where this method comes in handy. What I'm going to do here is make a scraper that will fit closely around the teeth of the file. This is a piece of aluminium three millimeters thick. That's about an eighth of an inch. You could use copper or brass or even steel for this. Place the plate here in line with the rows of teeth. Now bring it back and forth across the width of the file like this. As you're moving the plate back and forth you're also pushing it down onto the top of the file teeth. The teeth are cutting into the edge of the plate. Continue with this action for a few seconds then take a look at the edge of the plate. This is the shape the teeth have cut. It's a mirror image of the file teeth. This is exactly the shape you need on the face of your plate if you want to scrape out any swarf or muck that's between the teeth on your file. This plate has now become a scraper for this file. Sometimes you come across a piece of swarf that won't budge when you're using this wide scraper. What you need to do then is bring the scraper up onto its thin edge. And then use a sharp edge here and then that means I can get more pressure on the stubborn bits that won't come out when I use it flat. So now we've been across with the aluminium scraper, what I'm going to do now is just brush it with, what I have here is a toothbrush actually, but it's, uh, it's ideal for doing this. And there we are, we have a nice clean file ready to go filing again. Just a note about holding the file. Now it doesn't have to be clamped in a vise like this. The only reason I did this is because I wanted everything to stay in focus. If you are going to clamp it, don't clamp it against the edges in metal vise jaws like this. Remember that the file is very hard and the teeth along the edges here will chip if you tighten them up in a vise. So if you are going to hold them in a vise, make sure you use soft jaws and then that way you won't damage your file teeth. The other thing is the tang of the file, this bit here, is softer than the teeth itself. So if you are going to use clamps on them, use the clamps at this end of the file, then you've got less chance of doing any damage. Well, the name of this video was How Do You Clean a Flat File? And we've gone over all the different techniques that I know on how to do that. I'm going to produce another one on how to clean a round file. That's more involved than a flat file, so I'm going to be doing that a little later. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, can you please give it a big thumbs up? It only takes you a second and it's really good for the channel. And with that, this video is at an end. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.